welcome to a video tutorial on our firecracker boxes. These boxes come in a set of three, two, uh, three different heights. Uh, here's two of them that are finished and I'm going to do a quick tutorial using the tall one. And this tutorial was by special request, so here we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is put together the box bottom. And when that's finished, I'll put together the, the lid. And this is the tall box. Um, I started scoring a couple of the lines. I don't do a lot of video tutorials, but if you see something that you really, really want to see a tutorial on, just let me know. It's like, um, Come on into the group that we have on Facebook or, or send me an email at info at myscrapchip.com. Um, for this one, I ran and got some new papers. I decided to do the box in some bright, shiny foils because I thought how appropriate, how appropriate for the 4th of July. So anyway, I went ahead, scored all the lines and folded them. And then the next thing I'm going to do is there's a small tab on one side and I'm going to just simply glue that tab to the other side of the box to form a closed box. And at the end of the video, <clears throat> I've got a special tip to show you about how to get rid of these glue lines on foil paper. Because the one thing I noticed when I was working on these is the foils and glue, the glue sh just sticks out like a sore thumb when you, and of course I get glue everywhere as you'll notice, <laughs> but I found a quick, easy way to clean those up, and I'll show you that at the end of the video. Okay, the next step is once we have the box formed, we're going to work on the bottom, and there's two pieces to the bottom. One is going to go on the inside, one goes on the outside, and I always put the inside in first before I'm doing the outside because doing it this way it helps to form the shape of the box and so I s slip it in there and I take a long handled I'm using a long handled paintbrush but whatever you have um, a cooking utensil like a long wooden spoon or something that would work so I kind of get it in there and then I I like to do it this way instead of adding glue to the tabs first I'm afraid afraid of getting glue all over everything. So then I'm just going to go through on each tab. On this one, these tabs, you don't have to worry too much about being right on the edge. Because this isn't going to be showing. So I do that and then I just push it down onto my table. Take a long handled paintbrush in hand and kind of run it around the edges to secure the glue there and that's going to probably take just a minute to dry okay and then when it's dry turn it back over and see it really helped form the bottom of the box evenly there. So we're going to take the next one. And on this one, I want to kind of try and stay close to the edge of the box to seal it up good. So run my glue around the edges, a little bit in the middle. Oops. And you wonder why I get glue all over. <laughs> kind of line it up there and then Turn it back on its base, and again, I take my paintbrush, push all the edges down, and let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, and then when that's good and dry, I'm going to show. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I clean that glue off right now. Um, this isn't something I would use on paper, but. I found it works for the foil. It's Clorox wipes. And believe it or not, 
It works on the foil. Um, it did not work on this striped paper. It, uh, I guess it's not as solid of a foil as this is. And I'm sure this wouldn't work on regular scrapbook paper, but boy, on the foil, this is nice. Like I said, it seems to me like when it's this shiny stuff, the glue really stands out. And I'm so messy with the glue. It's great for getting it off your fingers, too. I just run through and kind of clean up that. I might do a little bit more later. And the same on the bottom. And then I'm going to show another tip, too. I think I'm going to do that right now. Um, this is a, a paper that has a white core, obviously, on the outside. Sometimes when you're working with some papers, you get the white of the, the core showing through, and like especially along here on the bottom. On this one, I took my pen and I ran around and I colored all of the white pieces with a Copic marker. And I just, I take the bullet, the, the bullet, no, not the bullet point, the broad tip point, and I just run through. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but like there's a white here and here, and you just kind of run that tip of the ink pen over that and it covers that up really nicely really gives it a finished look and it doesn't come off it doesn't rub off on the on the foil see this is the line I colored you can't really see it so I'm going to try it on the edges of the bottom and see if it shows up on that I really like doing this because it Gives a much more finished look. You don't see all those white cuts. I do this too when I'm working with um, print and cut. And sometimes I'll run along the edges of print and cut images and color them with a Copic marker or a black marker because it really does hide all those white edges. Anyway, I'll finish that up here and then we'll move on to the lid. Okay, now we're gonna move on to doing the lid. And just like the box bottom, we go along and we score and fold along, we we'll fold along all of the score lines. You can do the tabs before or after joining the sides here. Put glue on one tab there. Close the box. And just like we did on the, the box bottom, I'm going to do the inside first. Okay, there's two pieces also on the lid and one of them has a hole that's going to be on the outside. It, that's what our wick is going to come through. And then on the inside, we do this one. This one, I'm going to go ahead and put the glue around the edges because I have a little more control because the box isn't, or the lid isn't quite as deep as the box bottom was. So I just kind of slide it in there, keeping the lid on the table, and just press down around the edges. And that's going to create a good form to the lid. Let those pieces dry well. Okay, so that's on there. And now we're gonna do the wick. We do the wick before we put the final top on. And this wick it comes with um, these pieces all cut. And there's tiny little fold lines here, and there's just these itty bitty tiny little tabs. But what we're going to do is, there's one tiny tab on this side. We're going to fold all these tabs over. And what I found was easiest is to just go ahead and roll it up a little tighter than you need to the first time. We're going to run it through from the top, and the, the score lines will be on this side. 
And then I can take like a knitting needle or something and open it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to fold these down. If these tabs aren't big enough for you, you can slice, oh, where's my scissors? You can go ahead and just kind of cut a few slices like that, and it'll, that way you can make some bigger tabs. I thought it was easier than dealing with those little tiny things. But basically that's going to be glued on the inside and that'll, those tabs will hold the wick in place. Run a little bit of glue around the opening there and glue that down and then take your fingers and just kind of press it down to hold it. It doesn't have to be thoroughly dry, but go ahead and put glue around the very edge of the lid because we want that glued up good and snug around to the edge and then then we're going to line this up and it helps to go along on the inside and push down to secure keep doing that until the glue dries And while that glue is setting up, you know the other thing, these Clorox wipes are great for wiping the glue off your fingers real quick. Um, okay. Like on these, I don't know what you would call this, um, the fuse, the fuse of the firecracker. Uh, we just take a dowel or some round thing like that, a pencil, you can even take a, a knitting needle and just roll each one down to give it a bit of a curl and I'll go around and do that with oops <laughs> with each one and I kind of do them at varying heights and then when this is done I'm going to glue the stars on I have some stars I cut out of the blue, the blue foil, and so I'll just put a dab of glue right here. And just stick one of the stars on. You know, you could use hot glue too, that would be quicker, hold faster. small dot of hot glue. That's quicker. We'll put in one more. little explosion and then you slip it on the box and we're done and there you have your firecracker boxes all ready for the 4th of July